Do you ever read through tactical manuals and you think, man, this has got a lot of stuff in it that doesn't really apply to me and isn't really helpful? Well, I wrote a book to fix that. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and I have written a second book, and this one is called Minuteman 201, Small Unit Tactics, Fight Like a Badger, Move Like a Ghost, by me, Dylan Thomas Schumacher. So let's talk about it. I've been working on this book for a long time, uh, probably over a year. And I wrote this book because over the years, as I have taken lots of classes and read tons of books, uh, I, I have reached this point where I'm like, look, someone needs to write a manual that explains all the tactics stuff without assuming that I'm part of the big army, right? Every tactics book I've ever read so far uh, with maybe maybe the exception of one that I can think of, that's a maybe, um, has, has started with the presupposition that I belong to Big Army, right? Because after all, who else needs tactics books? <laughs> Turns out we all do. So if it's just you and your boys, what tactics do you really need? What tactics are you going to use? What, what are you going to do? Because you don't have all the fun toys, right? You don't have the Apache attack helicopters and the M1 Abrams tanks and the Bradley assault vehicles and the, the helicopters to drop you off and pick you up and the cool boats that come in with the 50 cows in the front, right? Like you don't have any of that. You don't even have full auto machine guns and 40 millimeter grenade launchers, right? So if it's just you and your boys, what, what does that look like? If you're not part of the big corporate army structure with your different reports and your different filings and your different procedures, right? What, is, what does that mean for you? How does that work? And so that's why I wrote this book. What do you as the everyday American person need to know in order to function and fight effectively as a team? So I cut out a lot of the fluff that I was reading and stuff that I would just skip, right? When I was reading. And I tried to really distill it down to what do you need to know? And then I said, okay, what of this actually applies to just me and the boys, right? What, what if this is actually still usable if it's just me and the boys? Is there stuff that the army is going to do that I can't do because I don't have the resources they have, right? And then that's, that's what I worked with. And that's what this book ends up being. Uh, it's just like something like 53,000 words, 170 some uh, footnotes, it's 249 pages, something like that, 245 pages. Uh, it's a labor of love, and I'm very exceedingly proud of it. Uh, Jack Morris even wrote me a really nice quote on the back here. If you don't know who Jack Morris is, he's over at the Professional Citizen Project. Thanks again, Jack, for all of your help to get this done. Really, really, really appreciate that. So I am exceedingly proud of this book. I hope that you find it extremely helpful and that you as an everyday person can pick up this book and you can read it and you can say, ah, this is what I need to know. This is what I can do. You can start training with your boys right now and you can get to a place of proficiency and help so that if things ever go bad, you know, you'll be ready. You can find this book on my website. If my, if my website's ever sold out, you can find it on Amazon. But I hope that gives you a good idea of what this book is, what it's about, why I wrote it, and why it would be helpful to you. Do brave deeds and endure.